as I was like all over the place earlier trying to explain like how will I be able to get that on her? He got different people commenting and stuff like that and especially people from foreign countries English speaking foreign countries really who kind of pretty much have similar culture but maybe not entirely but similar more than more than dissimilar they don't quite see things the way I do because they see what I'm doing is silly but see I could see I could see through their lens and perspective because in a lot of those countries they're, they're taxed to death first of all I'm going to that right there Where there's a will, there's me. only got one strap holding it on. That's not too intelligent. If that knot breaks, I'm screwed and tattooed. 
and I think all the other straps are I think all, I think all the straps oh. okay that guy was sitting there for the last five minutes watching me talk to myself Boy, that scrapper is really crazy. He sure is. Look at all that garbage. Oh, so, anyway. <clears throat> this one uh, Australian guy. A. AU scrapper. So that would be Australian scrapper. I mean, the way they put some stuff, you know what I mean? I should actually stick that in the other way around, but I always do it the backwards way. Anyway, <laughs> the way he explained my situation, it's like, it's just too feral, you know, meaning wild. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way before, but <laughs> sometimes the truth of a the truth comes out best sometimes uh, from some of them some of them foreign countries. Well, not so foreign, but kind of. So I'm gonna, since I stupidly buried all my uh, straps, I'm gonna grab this extension cord that I cut off a vacuum and that will, that will be my lame insurance policy. Should this strap give way, which I don't think it will, but if you just have one holding on, that's no good. So today, my daughter finally, finally figured out that Tax 
this thing. And yeah, that, that way I don't need to get a bank account. You know, like a regular bank account. Let's see how much that was when we lose. What did I run over? I ran over something. Something don't sound right about the front end of this vehicle. Now I'll start getting paid from from YouTube. Ninety four Oldsmobile. It's an oldie. Sixty six thousand miles. All wheel drive. I don't really, really like all wheel drive. This thing's not in bad shape though. In my area, you know why 94? Well, 95 and down, okay, is better. You don't have to take it to the emissions testing. And the first thing I look at when I'm looking at any kind of car is the condition of the tires. And these tires show some signs of dry ride. Look at that. So when people go, oh, yeah, it's a... Uh, 15th. And they tell you, oh my god, the tires are great. No, they're not. See how it's dry riding? You got a lot of rubber on there, so <laughs> you probably get, if you do local driving, you could probably get a, a year or two out of those. I know I could. With that level of dry rod, you can't take that on the highway and expect that, though. So, that'll come apart. And this one right here, they looks like they were in love with the curb. So it needs new tires. Straight off the bat. So, I could tell that this thing isn't from this area because people typically don't park too much on the street they do kind of but not a lot see this see this fender right here it's hardly even rusted right now you go on the driver's side look at the fender's all routed so this was parked out on the street quite a bit It was never garage kept. There's a recent little smack there. That's back in the day when they didn't use so much plastic. Alright kids, it's the same thing as the Chevy Blazer. It's just a badge engineered Oldsmobile. Pull the grill off, put a Chevy grill on there. You got yourself a Chevy. Except I think that's illegal, actually. Because you're misidentifying the vehicle. Let's check it on that. Alright. See you in the next video, guys.